hi y'all happy halloween and happy salon um 2013 so today i'm going to apologize in advance for the shakiness um the participants of my little craft time experience um are napping in the room where my regular camera is located so i decided to just go with the camera phone and use that since they're going to be going home in a little while I wanted to go ahead and get the video done um, before the examples left so what we did was footprint and handprint art these are the supplies we'll go over in just a minute but it's not really that many and since this was for their family um, since I was babysitting today I made them into cards and below it just has their name and love in the year that this was made for the youngest one my four-month-old participant it's his first Halloween y'all so we had to make sure that was on there and that just says too cute to spook and we did a footprint ghost with our little googly eyes and um, then we did heel print um, pumpkins I forgot what they were for a minute pumpkins and it was really fun um, we tried to do hand print um, my other participant is a little older and she was a lot more inclined to leave her feet or leave her hands open than he was, but that's okay. So with this lovely little helper that I had, we have the same little pump or er, feet with ghosts. This isn't her first Halloween, but um, it's still adorable in my opinion. And then we got a handprint spider done. We were so excited too that we got it done in the first try. And she really liked how it looked after we put the, the googly eyes on. And then we also did the heel pumpkins. And she, since she's a very good helper, helped paint on the little grass down here with my help. Just a little guidance. And really had fun with that. Now, <clears throat> these are of course not the only things that you could do with your handprint, footprint, um, inspirations. If you have older children and you wanted to, you could totally do like a handprint tree with fingerprint leaves and talk about your ancestors and your family tree and make this a learning experience. We're hearing from one of the participants now. I think it was a hit, y'all. Um... But we had a good time with it, um, just being little kids. So I know that you could definitely turn it in to a learning experience if you were doing this with bigger kids. You know, tell them the story of your family and talk about how this is the time to honor your ancestors. Um, if that's something that you and your family like to do at this time of the year. Um... But as you can see, the supplies are, are pretty basic. You've got googly eyes, scissors, uh, glue, you have paint. I would have, if I had this to do over again, I would have used finger paint rather than the acrylic paint that I used. But of course, make sure whatever craft friendly paint that you use is um, non-toxic and washes off. Um, you, you do not want anything toxic used on a children's craft because of obvious reasons that we don't have to go into. And since the front of this did not say non-toxic, I actually checked the back. Don't know if y'all can see that. Ooh, right there. Yeah, see, it says water-based, um, 
non-toxic and it tells you you know you can clean with wet so clean while wet with soap and water um so that was helpful a little bit of information there um but yeah that it's really simple to do with children um your older children are going to want to probably express their individuality a little more and not have you painted on their foot or their hand like I did with the little guys. Um, or they may want to do it themselves. But, you know, depending on your age group that you're working with, then that's totally up to you. But I really think that this is a versatile activity. You could do... Um, family ghosts you could do and you could you could do family pumpkins or however you wanted to do that with any of those and make it you know a family activity that everybody did um here's a hint grandparents love getting this kind of stuff in case y'all didn't know that already aunts and uncles who live far away also love little treasures like this so you know if you didn't want to keep it or put it in your family book of shadows if you have one or something like that, then you can always give them as a gift. Um, in my case, I was babysitting and wanted something adorable to do with the little guys and girls. So that's why I went that route. Um, but anyway, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I'm going to list the tutorial blog link that I actually got a couple of these ideas from in the description box along with the materials list and um, that way you have all the information there together so that it's easy to find and easy for you to replicate if you so chose. Um, it really didn't take a long time to do this. This is a very fast quick little activity unless um, of course you spill paint, which I did when I tried to do my own version. <laughs> that took a little longer. But anyway, if, if you've got an extra set of hands or you've kind of already worked out how you want to do this in your head, you should be good to go. Um, drying time included, I think this took about two hours and that was with an hour worth of drying time for the paint and about 30 minutes for the glue just to make sure everything was dry um so yeah about 15 minutes per child and that was with the little ones so you may be able to get done even faster than i did anyway i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope that you all have a wonderful and memory packed candy enjoyed trick-or-treating however you celebrate um, happy Halloween, happy Samhain, and I hope you really enjoy this turn of the Wheel of the Year. Everybody, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much for watching, and blessed be.